so now we have to add medical allowance formula double click on it and add formula which is D3 which is D3 basic pay divide by 100 and now multiply it by 10 which is 10 percent medical allowance and which is now you can see that it has calculated the medical allowance which is 100 now we have to add convenience allowance d3 divide by 100 and multiply by 10 12 sorry and it is 120 and what is house rent same formula for it also d3 divide by 100 multiply 15 now what is the formula for total salary it is the sum of all of them so we need to add sum d3 to g3 which is g3 and now you can see that its total is 1370 and now we have to calculate GP fund which is 8% D3 again and then divide by 100 and multiply sorry multiply 8 it is 80 so what is the formula for tax calculation it is 14% we have to use if statement or come on H4 which is as 3 sorry total salary is 3 is greater than is equal to mm, 1000 if it says if total salary is greater than 1000 then D4 sorry d3 divided by 100 multiply by 14.0 this is the total formula the tax is 140 so it says if if total salary is more than thousand then calculate 14 percent of it tax then calculate tax on it now what is the formula for net salary it's simple as 3 minus i3 which is this and plus j3 so it is h3 first of all add this gp fund and tax and then subtract it from total salary what's the total salary is 1150 and that's it now you have to use the formulas in all of these rows it is quite uh, complicated but it is the same process which we uh, use in offices to make salary statements if you have any question about it or anything else please feel free to ask and please don't forget to subscribe me